Welcome everyone to this video channel, this video channel. The heart of Jesus is waiting for you presence and gives you heavenly love letters sent down for us then and now from our Lord Jesus Christ and from the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that we can prepare ourselves as suitable for the heavenly wedding of the Lamb of God. Today, we present the Word of God spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ in the New Jerusalem Monastery in Romania, excerpts from the Word of God about the Thousand Year Kingdom, Part 3, selection of texts from the Word of God on this topic. I lay in the grave for two days, and on the third day I arose and arose and worked, and established my kingdom on earth. If man has ruined it for me and is always ruining it for me, should I not rise up as a maker that I am, and work it back? Hasn't the time come to restore my kingdom that was built two thousand years ago? And I say again, I stayed in the grave for two days, and on the third day I rose and established my kingdom. I spent two thousand years waiting for the resurrection of the creature for whom I died, and the third thousand years is the day of the resurrection, the day of the Lord. Amen. Here is the secret of the ages, that with God a day is like a thousand years. This mystery is no longer hidden, that a day before me is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day, and I do not tarry with my promise, but I have endured long according to the reckoning of man, for I willed that all men may come to repentance. I gave man time, but man kept moving away from the beginning and reached the end, for he went forward instead of returning to me and waiting for the resurrection. This is why I, the Lord, speak a lot, because it seems to man that I will not be the one who speaks. For two thousand years I was silent as in the grave, and the third thousand years is the resurrection, and I am the beginning of the resurrection, as it is written about me, and about the resurrection in the scriptures. Two thousand years are like the two days when I was hidden in the grave, and the third thousand years is like the third day when I rose and appeared to my disciples. This is the secret of my long and endless speech because I, the Lord, breathed and spoke over the earth, and my word resurrected and gives life to those in the graves, because it is written in my word of two thousand years ago. The hour is coming when the dead in the graves will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. This is the mystery of my word and my voice in these days, and those who hear it are resurrected for incorruption and clothed in immortality to meet me. For I come with the wedding from heaven to earth, with the true mystery of the wedding, the mystery that man on earth has imprisoned it under sin for so many thousands of years, calling it a mystery and likening it to the true mystery of the wedding. Wedding is salvation paid for with life, and nothing else is wedding. For two thousand years I have been silent, and now I speak again, because the resurrection is coming, the one of the third thousand years the one of the third day, when I make myself the word of resurrection, a long and endless word like eternity. This is the mystery of my word and my voice that fills the earth these days. Man demolished my temple in the two days, in the two thousand years, and on the third day, the third thousand years, I, the Lord, build it again and make myself king over all the creatures that will be I am and the day of resurrection is with me, and from my mouth comes the word of life. I stayed in the grave for two days, and on the third day I rose and established my kingdom, and I waited two thousand years, and the third thousand years is the day of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Extract from the word of God on the feast of St. Anthony the Great, from 30.01.2000, the discovery of the scriptures of the sons of God, to stop the sighing of creation. Amen. This is the end of today's message. May God bless you and keep you close to his sacred heart. Amen.